Welcome back everyone, another iOS 14 comparison and this time we're comparing the iPhone 8 that's on iOS 14 which is on the right versus an iPhone that 8 that is on iOS 13 on the left as you can see and the best way you can tell whether a phone is on iOS 13 or 14 is if you obviously see the home screen widgets or if you can't tell from there without going into settings you can swipe to the right and if it looks like this, the widget panel, then it's on iOS 14. If it looks like this, the older way, then it's on iOS 13. So I have a ton of apps loaded. I'm going to tell you right now, it doesn't matter how good iOS 14 performs. It's not perfect. It's in a beta. And you should not install it on your main phone. That's 100% given. If you install it on your main phone, I'm literally not even going to talk to you anymore. So all the apps are cleared out in the background. So let's see if it's a little faster than iOS 13. So do calendar. 3, 2, 1. Okay. Uh, I think iOS 13 was really fast there. Photos, three, two, one. And a little bit of a difference here. Can't really tell which one's faster though. Camera, three, two, one. Okay, I'm getting tons of pop ups on the iPhone 8 for some reason. Mail, three, two, one. I think I already, no, I didn't do this. iOS 13 actually slightly faster there. Clock, three, two, one. A little bit of difference there, not a big deal though. Maps, three, two, one. I think iOS 13 actually was faster again into the little panel here iOS 14 was just a little bit behind. Do weather, three, two, one. And a little bit of a pop-up here. I think this was faster to kind of get into this panel. This one was a little bit behind, but again, not a crazy big deal or anything. Do the app store, three, two, one. And iOS 13 actually faster there. iPhone 8 a little bit behind. We're on iOS 14 and scrolling through. I wanna see if you guys can tell a difference. I honestly cannot. They look almost the same thing. If I go into this one, for example, they yeah, they look about the same. I don't think there's going to be that big of a difference between them at all. So phone call, three, two, one. About the same. Safari, let's go ahead and load up a web page and see you know what the differences are. Go and load up Apple.com, three, two, one. And iOS 14 a little bit faster to load up that specific web page. Not by a lot though, just by a noticeable amount. You can see, even see the iOS 14 thing they have on the front page, which is really, really cool. Messages, probably going to be the same. Yep, about the same. Music. iOS 13, I think a little bit smoother there. Well, I kind of closed it too early, my bad. I have a bunch of these third-party apps that we can go ahead and look at too. We can do Fruit Ninja. Three, two, one. And iOS 13 looks to be faster, and so far on all my devices that I've tested, iOS 13 seems to be faster when loading up like these specific games sometimes, or most of the time for that matter. Okay, let's go ahead and play some game and see if there's a difference at all, which I don't think there's going to be a difference at all. You can see that, yeah, they're about the same to be honest. So there we go, that pretty much covers that one. Snake vs. Blocks, 3, 2, 1. And you can see iPhone SE. And you can see iOS 13 1, iPhone 8 a little bit behind it on iOS 14. Getting into some gameplay, let's see if there's a difference. And as I said before, oh, there was a little glitch on both of them there. It's actually really, really random. And now they're going to be about the same anyway. Paper Hour 2, 3, 2, 1. iOS 13 first, and then iOS 14 a little bit behind. Again, not an insane difference, but you know, just a noticeable one for sure. But you know, I'm sure iOS 14 will get faster over time. You can do Temple Run, 3, 2, 1, the original one. And it looks like iOS 13 is going to be the faster one here as well. And you can see iOS 13 was indeed the faster one, followed by iOS 14 a little bit behind. You can do stack, three, two, one. And you can see a little bit behind on the iOS 14 device, so a little bit the ad. I'm going to go ahead and play it a little bit and see if there's a difference at all. I kind of screwed up a little bit, but I really shouldn't have done that, but they're about the same. It looks to be almost exactly the same on both, which is totally fine. Do Netflix. Let's go and end it off with Real Racing 3, 3, 2, 1. A little bit of a glitching going on in iOS 14, but still totally okay. And you can see iOS 13 was the first one to load up, and I'm sure iOS 14 won't be too far behind, at least I don't think so, I could be wrong. Okay, we finally switched screens on the iOS 14 device. 
and fully loaded on the iOS 13 device and iOS 14 I eventually got into it. Like I stated before, I think it's definitely faster when it comes down to the game loading speeds and everything on iOS 13 than on iOS 14. 14 still has a long way to go, but it's totally okay. Like I said, I just basically wanted to see what the differences are between these two. And honestly, if you're on iOS 13, I would recommend staying there. As you guys can see, it's more stable. Also, you're, I think you're getting better performance on iOS 13 for now. But once iOS 14 becomes better and the more betas come out, it'll definitely get faster and faster over time. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So me so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those things are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys would check it out. More importantly than everything else, every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.